We've seen mainstream laptops built out of plastic and premium laptops built out of magnesium and aluminum, but the HP Spectre Folio is the first laptop that is built with leather. So we're not kidding, the Spectre Folio uses full grain leather. This is not PVC, not polyurethane, real leather. It's bonded to the frame. And let's open it up so you can see what it looks like. So here you see the traditional clamshell design. And all I have to do is pull a little bit on the display and it goes into this sort of movie watching mode. If I push it like this, it turns into a tablet. So it's not like a traditional detachable where you have to pull everything apart. It just moves into these three different modes. You also see there's a pen here on the side. There's a pen included with the Spectre Folio. And this is the same pen that you'll see with other Spectres. And the cool thing about this pen is that it's USB-C chargeable. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other aspects of the Folio. Here you see the trackpad. You can see it's got leather all around it, which is really comfortable when you have your wrists on this and you're navigating. This keyboard is part of the um, you know, bottom part of the folio. It has an aluminum frame underneath, and the battery is underneath this keyboard too. But HP still made enough room for a 1.3 millimeter travel on the keyboard, so you're still getting uh, you know, a reasonable keyboard experience for a laptop this thin. Up here you have the speaker grill. These are actually laser cut speaker holes. I believe there are over 2,000 of these in there. And then they retain this aluminum on the side for strength around the holes. Here you have the hinge on the side. And as you can see, there's a little bit of space behind the hinge for the airflow. The motherboard that's underneath here is a fanless motherboard, so you're not going to get a lot of heat. This display here is a Full HD 1920 by 1080 display. It has a brightness of 400 nits, which is a really great brightness level for a laptop. It's still a very low energy display though, so you're not going to lose a lot of battery life. And right along here on the top, you have the LTE antenna so that if you have a plan uh, with your mobile carrier, you know, you'll have instant connectivity and the SIM slots are actually hidden underneath the hinge. Uh, this is a very, very thin product, but they still found room for two USB-C ports on this side, as well as another USB-C port on this side. And the other thing you'll see here is a three and a half millimeter audio jack. And while there are USB-C audio uh, devices available right now, uh, three and a half millimeter headsets means that all of your legacy audio devices that you know and love, including your Bose headphones, are going to be fine with this laptop. You're not gonna have to struggle with the, you know, dicey standards of USB-C. I want to put this into tablet mode to show you how nice it is to have the keyboard hidden underneath your laptop instead of, you know, sticking out on your lap or on the desk and, and uh, getting that rough feeling. And I also want to emphasize here that you have full leather on the bottom of this. So when you're holding this on your lap, instead of feeling cold metal or really hot metal where the CPU is, you're going to have this soft surface on your clothing or against your skin that's just going to feel so much better than metal or plastic ever did. So let's think about who would want this laptop. I mean, it's so different from anything else that we've ever seen. The people who want this uh, are people who are definitely looking for something different. They wanna stand out a little bit. Uh, they may also just want something that's a little more comfortable. But as someone who loves handbags, I can tell you that the feel of this leather, the softness, the smell, um, just the smoothness compared to the sort of the hard feeling of plastic or the cold feeling of metal, it really makes us feel like a premium product and something that you want to carry around with you and have next to your skin and especially on your lap. Uh, I spend so much time with a laptop and uh, I, I can say that, you know, this feels like having a leather jacket on or a leather skirt. It just feels good. So I'm sure you want to know how they did this. So I'm here with Jo Tan, who's the head of Consumer Notebooks at HP, and she's going to tell us all about the design and construction of the Spectre Folio. As you can see on this particular device, the base you see here on the leather, underneath there is actually aluminum metal to strengthen the construction of the notebook. Mm -hmm. So you have that rigidity feel. Don't have to worry about that. The top part, in order to get the right balance of weight as well as good user experience, the top part we actually have underneath the leather, magnesium alloy. 
And one of the beauty everybody knows, magnesium alloy, actually give you better weight. People also would be curious about how a leather laptop cools itself and how it feels on your lap. Can you talk about that? Yeah, the good news with leather is not like a metal where you transfer heat very quickly, mm -hmm. right? So, and leather maintain that kind of a constant temperature, right? It's warm to touch and it's soft, it's comfortable. And so that's the beauty of using leather and which is also one of the reasons we went down this path. Well, also the motherboard is fanless. So, oh yes, so you're yes, very good point. Not radiating a lot of heat anyway, but by creating this little space in the hinge area, you provide better airflow too. Yes, and then as you said, just now the leather conducts the heat in a different way that doesn't feel as extreme as it can feel in a metal chassis. And I've definitely felt that with my leather, with my metal laptops, is that the heat conduction from the CPU you can really feel that. So the Spectre Folio has been announced today, mm -hmm. and when is it going to be available? Don't have to wait too long. You'll be available at Best Buy on October 29th at $13.99 with a Core i7 config. Other options will be available in hp.com.